In this demonstration, we're going to configure the global names DNS zone functionality, and we're going to add uh, an alias record or a CNAME record to the to the global name zone, and also test the global names uh, zone functionality using a ping utility. So let's first go ahead and uh, open up a command prompt. So this is a um, I'm currently logged on to a domain controller machine. And here I have to enable the uh, global names zone functionality by uh, issuing the DNS CMD command. So I'll explain the con syntax of this command shortly. So this command, DNS CMD followed by the server name, which is LUN DC1 in this scenario forward by f forward slash config we are telling the DNS CMD command that we are making a configuration change and then using the forward slash enable global name support switch and setting it to a value of 1 will actually enable the feature the global names feature so this is nothing but um, giving DNS the ability to resolve um, a single label or a global name of a single label so now let's uh, now that the command is completed, we'll close it down and open DNS Manager. And in the DNS Manager console pane, I see um, the server name LUN DC1. And what I'm going to do here is uh, just right-click the Forward Lookups Zone node under the server name and click on uh, a new zone and this brings up the new zone wizard on which um, I click next and in the zone type screen we make sure that the primary zone is selected and the store the zone in active directory checkbox is also selected next we um, look at the replication scope of the DNS zone and here we uh, select to all DNS servers in this forest so this will this zone will get replicated to, to all the DNS servers in the forest then we click next and here we give this a name so the name is going to be global names and then click next and we want to make sure just go back one screen again we want to make sure that the zone name is exactly global names without any um, syntax errors because this will this the existence of an of a zone of this name will tell DNS um, the clients and the server that uh, the functionality can be used because they look for the specific zone uh, and they look for that existence of that zone next we uh, come to the screen of the dynamic update and uh, here we say uh, we're going to choose do not allow dynamic updates and click next and then uh, click finish so now we see the global names forward lookup zone has been created in uh, in DNS and it's of the type active directory integrated primary next uh, let's add an alias record or a CNAME resource record to the global names zone and uh, we'll switch back to the command prompt just to get uh, some practice with that so the command is uh, DNS CMD basically the command line utility of the DNS server role I'm going to use the record add switch so the DNS CMD forward by forward, sla uh, forward slash um, record add space the name of the zone in which you want to add the record and we're adding a CNAME record or an alias record for LUN DC1 so LUN dash DC1 dot contoso dot com which is the name of the domain so this will actually go ahead and add a CNAME record for the single label name pointing to the FQDN of the domain controller so let's minimize or um, let's close the command prompt and in the DNS manager screen we'll just do a refresh 
and now we see that there's a record of the name DC which is an alias record of the same domain controller name which is lun-dc1.contoso.com so now let's test the functionality of the global name zone by opening the command prompt again and here we'll uh, issue a ping space DC so we're just issuing the name a single label name so now we see that we get a response from the domain controller learn-dc1.contoso.com and all we did was to ping the, the string DC that's all so DNS the global names zone functionality is working uh, because we were able to successfully ping a single label name